Okay, so now we're taking a look at the center line pump. Now, a really simple exercise you can start with is just practicing it on a moving pad or moving target. So, what your partner's going to do is they're going to, actually I'll do it for you just because I know what I'm doing. Uh, with it, uh, is they're going to, you can, we're going to combine this with the tracking and moving exercise and the palm. So the, the pad is going to uh, represent a person's head. So my forearm would be like the neck and spine. So that means they would be tracking the actual pad itself as opposed to my center. So if Carson's tracking my center, it'd be this, but if he's tracking the pad, because this represents that, it'd be this, right? And then whenever the target is, uh, uh, whenever the pad is presented, then Carson's going to use his palm strike. Very simple exercise. So, let's have a go. Carson stays tracking the pad, and then when the pad comes up, bang, you go straight forward with that. Yeah. Back down, so you keep it down like this, and then when it comes up, you go straight with the palm strike. Tracking, tracking. Now, just a note for the pad holder, uh, don't hold it too far back um, towards the end of your shoulder range, because if you have shoulder problems, that could um, you know, make a, give you an injury if you had a shoulder problem. There's actually a video of when I'm punching a pad and um, my student brought the pad too far back. I should have told him my bad. And um, he, it, I punched the pad and then he goes, oh, hold on, like it really hurt him. So um, don't do that. Try to keep it more forward so that you have some space to move back if need be. And also when you meet, when they go to palm strike, just meet it with a little bit of pressure, okay? Yeah? So, cast some tracks. Simple exercise. And you can see, you know, Carson's moving his body quite well, so he can generate a pretty good amount of uh, force with this movement. Now, things to think about when you're doing this one. Uh, so, Carson, you can pretend he's holding a pad here. Things to think about is make sure you're keeping your guard onto the actual center of the target. And when it comes up, going straight to the target with the heel of the palm, maintaining your hands in front of the center. So, bang here, bang. And then you can switch hands and alternate, alternate with that if you like. Now, uh, if you're comfortable with that level and you want to, you know, go further with it, Carson puts his guard up and then he's, you can imagine we're tracking as well. Then when I put the pad up, he's going to go with like a chain palm now. So one, two, three, yeah? Okay, so that's a another layer to the exercise you can use. You can be tracking the pad and then bang, 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 yeah. Get a good feeling for it, you know. A common mistake I see with people is that when they start to launch their palm strikes is that they'll come out of their stance. So if I step back a bit so you can see it, they'll kind of come out of their stance and come up like this um, so that they lose um, the use of the lower half of the body in the strikes and also they lose their balance to a degree. Um, Carson wasn't doing that, but you'll see beginners do that, where for example, they'll come up and over with their upper body, kind of disconnecting the stance. And if, and if someone's a trained fighter and they've made contact with you, they're gonna easily be able to latch you and take advantage of that uh, off balancing that you've given them. So keep that in mind as well. All right, so that's a simple exercise you can have a crack with. Now, if you don't have a partner, you've got your imaginary friend, Jack, Jill, Bill, Steve, or Sam, um, Actually, on, on a side note, if you are training on your own and you do have an imaginary uh, partner that you're training with, uh, why don't you um, put their name in the uh, community section and we can all say hello to them for you. Just a silly note there. If you want to draw a picture of it, I'll chuck it in there. But you've got your imaginary friend, so shadow style training. You've also got heavy bags, uh, wall bags. You can even actually just do that straight on a wall. Like, you know, you can just practice your placement, yeah. Your placement on the wall, you know? Don't hit it too hard so don't hurt yourself with it. Um, but you can also do that too. Any other ideas for yeah, solo, solo um, trainers? Like filming, like every now and then you can just go and then just mirror. 
What do you mean filming? So film yourself. So film yourself then... like with, with, with something in your hand like this, and then like every now and then do this on the screen, on the big TV screen, and then you can just follow it. Okay. Yeah. Carson said he was going to do those videos. So yeah, I'm going to do those. If videos. Carson hasn't done those videos for you yet, write in the comments, Carson, where are my videos? <laughs> okay. Oh. Cool. Um, once again, any questions, comments, chuck them in the community and I look forward to seeing you guys in our next video.